Hello. In this video, we will show you how to link our mobile phone with the Wi-Fi Plus Kit for cool forwarding functionality. The first step is to download the Wi-Fi Plus by Firmax application. We can access the application through the QR code that we can find in the Wi-Fi options of the monitor. Once downloaded, open it and a login window will appear. Click on it and register if this is your first time. Fill in the necessary fields with your email and password and click on Sign Up. We will be asked for a six-digit code that will have been sent to our email address to confirm the user's registration. We will have to fill in the code in one minute to complete the registration. In the case of not arriving on time, we will be able to resend another code for verification. Once the registration is complete, the application will access the main screen and you will be able to start pairing. If we click on the following icon, we will start the linking of our kit. To be able to link it, first we will have to have connected our monitor to a stable network in the Wi-Fi settings. In this way, the QR code for pairing will appear in this window. If it does not appear, it will mean that the monitor does not have a connection to the network, so we will have to try again. We scan our QR code and wait for the device to connect. Click on Add and we will assign a name to our monitor. Press Next and we will be asked for a password with numeric values of at least four digits. This password will be the door opening confirmation, which will only be requested the first time the door is opened. In this way, we will have completed the linking of our monitor with our smartphone. In-house, we will visualize our badge. From this menu, we can activate the F1 button, make a call to the monitor, make auto power on, and activate the door opener from the key icon. We can also access the house settings to configure the following sub-menus. In house name, we can modify the name of the monitor. Under device details, the monitor ID, model and firmware version will be displayed. House share allows the administrator to invite other people to interact with the home. These users must be registered in the application to be invited and we can authorize different permissions. Once done, press continue and it will indicate that the invitation has been sent and is pending confirmation. Push settings are pop-up notifications such as calls, open door or F1 alarm. You can enable or disable them. Under advanced settings, we see another submenu. In unlock setting, we see different unlocking modes. One of them is the unlock QR code, where we can generate a code to open our door just by showing it to the batch. allowing us to share it and facilitate the opening to whoever we want. We can set some parameters such as the QR name, limit the number of uses of the code, or program the timetable for its use. If we receive a call from the batch, we will be notified with the option to accept or reject. If we accept, we will see who it is through the camera on the panel and we will be able to communicate with the person. In addition, we will be able to open the door, shown or hang up. During the call, we will be able to take a screenshot, capture a recording of a maximum of 15 seconds, activate F1 or change the camera if we have more than one panel or IP camera. If we go back to the home screen, we will see different sections at the bottom. In Gallery, we will have a visualization of the screenshots or recordings that are made through the board. By clicking on the following icon, we can select all the files, store them on our device, or delete them. In Events, we will visualize the different actions we have carried out. Under Settings, you can change the following general settings. That's all. Thank you very much for your attention and see you next time.